Go to the Layers panel, select a layer, and then go to Layer and Duplicate. So I've done that twice, you've now got three layers, all the same. The first layer will be red, the second green, and the bottom one will be blue. So with the red layer selected, go to Filters, Colors, and Procedural Texture, and then click the plus, that left side plus, three times. The red line, put it to R. The other lines, green and blue, put to zero and zero, and click Apply. And now you can see the red channel has red. Go to the green channel, filters, colors, and procedural texture. Exactly the same as before, the plus three times. The red channel now, the R channel, will be zero. The green channel will have G. And blue channel zero, and apply. So now you've got the green in the green channel. Then go to the blue channel and filters, colors, and procedural texture. And you can see the result now. I'm going to go to the plus again three times. And you can see then R and G, zero, zero. And the blue is B. And click apply. So now you've got blue in that channel. And what you can do, you can transform them, apply effects. You can also make certain it's not locked, the blue channel. You can resize it, move it around, rotate it, shear it. So you can move it up, do that, go to the green channel and do exactly the same. Now at the moment you can't see the green channel, I'm just moving it randomly, but of course you can, if you want, sort of make it not visible so you can work with it then. And you can resize the blue. And again, you can still only see the red at the moment. You can also apply effects, so filters, blur, Gaussian blur, or any other one. Set the radius and apply. But now what you do, go to the red channel, select that, go to the blending modes and go for add. Now you may find other blending modes that work well, but I'm just gonna go with add. And again, the green one, make that add as well. And then you can see the result. You can see the red, the green, and the blue channel, and you can still continue to reposition them and move them and apply effects to create all kinds of wonderful color effects with your image. You can also go to a layer menu and merge visible, and it's all then one layer, and you can apply other effects.